beautiful car. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Childhood Thoughts. I am the narrator. This is a long-awaited episode. And I've been wanting to do this because this character doesn't get any credit. This is a character that I think for a 25-year-old movie has never gotten any... Um. I'm sure she has a fandom, but you don't see her in, like, top protagonist uh, lists or, like, along with the Katie character that I always found very, I'm sorry, sorry to say this, but mediocre from Mean Girls, that Katie character. Julie Freeman, I think, is one of the best written, improved characters I have, going from this popular girl that you know d- did have some have some um compassion for her friends but you know especially her best friend Liz but going from that to the just this you know character that is just so more or less just like Julia Stiles' character from... So she went from, like, uh, Karen Smith or or whatever to Julia Stiles from 10 Things I Hate About You. Like, she, did, you know, just not caring anymore, not giving a shit, and being her own self. That is fantastic. I, again, like, um, I don't know what it is, but people have said, like, she drew uh, some inspiration from Jackie Kennedy, I think. Um, we go from like the whole '60s to now. Uh, how she dress, like the different, ver- like the her different versions of herself, the different ways she would dress. Uh, went from like the the again like these like '60s era, um, to more today's at this time at that time 1998 or 1999 i love that i love the 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 costuming in this i love the the style um it's like colors from like the austin powers movies it's it's just like if you know what i mean like the, the, the pretty colors like the pop like brit pop like beautiful colors um and you can see it throughout the whole movie with with just the transformation um, of the is probably the best transformation I've seen out of a, a female character um, or just a character. She is up there with, with along with like a lot of your different and and that's what I love about uh, with, with, with movies where you have a character that is completely you know not like. She's more or less someone you wouldn't know, like notice to kind of get out of that, out of that lime, limelight, and just be herself. And it it works very well for you know Rebecca, in my opinion, would be would have been the only person to play this character. There's only one. It was just like Jamie Lee Curtis with Halloween. There's only one Laurie Strode, you know. Um... And I love like to even though I prefer the other the other person, but like there's only one in, in general out of like those that continuity. You know, it's and it, it, like I can say it with a lot of like there's only one Dorothy Gale, there's only one Princess Leia. Like you know what I mean. So there's only one Julie Freeman, and uh, I think. Again, Rebecca Gayhart hit it out of the park. She's known um, in, in most for uh, horror roles, but this was a, a very different role. She's very, very different. Um, it's more her 
you know, it, 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 very different from uh, other stuff she did. And I've um, always been a fan and uh, just probably one of my all-time favorite uh, movie characters.